EA Sports within the game. He tucked that ball away, lowered his head, and boom, end zone. Madden football is the home of Super Bowl. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. So we've reached halftime here. One of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. The quick feet by Jackson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Throwing is Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure there was a tight halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. He's going to pick up the first down and then so. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A big play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Lamar Jackson, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have got it back to within the score. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So a sensational return there on special teams, a foot race, and he was not going to lose. Now, meanwhile, while that was going on, we've got an injured player on the field. 
Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So here's the Bills' offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Davis fighting. He loses the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, the touchdown a minute ago on offense got him back into it, and now the defense turns right around and forces the turnover. And you and I both know if you're going to come from as far down as they have to, it's going to take both sides of the ball, maybe even the special teams, to get involved. And so far, they've done exactly that. Offense scores, defense does its job. They're making their move. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Jackson. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, trying to atone for it here on this drive. Allen now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. And that's incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. This is intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by James Bradbury. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick 16. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have the nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. 
from the 10. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Just one more quarter remains in the season. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. From the 25 on second down, Allen. And that falls to the ground incomplete. What a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Here. Now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Waddle now to return it. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Oh, he fakes a spike. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are right back in this football game. Yes, folks, that is his third. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because... There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. On first down, Allen. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. It's a first down following a gain of three. Now Allen, over the middle complete, it's McKenzie. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. Do you pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? That's exactly oh. what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. You have a big-time pass rusher. Sit. And then make sure you blanket the field. The kick by Bass is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. They're going to get out of here with a victory. So Lamar Jackson in the offense, down by two, 54 seconds to go. A field goal wins the Super Bowl, but work to do here on first and 10. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. Now Jackson, it's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. Jackson to throw. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. So the second half comeback is now complete. They have battled from behind, taken the lead. And CD now, they just need their defense to stand up here and secure the victory. And remember, they were trailing by double digits, fought their way back into this one. Now we find out the true definition of the team, don't we? Because one side of the ball just did its job. Now it's time for the other one to take over. Drive downfield and get the deciding score in what time remains. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now it's the Bills' turn, trailing by four. A little over 30 seconds remaining. A touchdown can win the Super Bowl as they've got a first down. And meanwhile, oh, Davis lost it. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. The Jackson going to hold on to it again. And some room to maneuver. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.